came here for the demo day to demonstrate uh, the idea from Comcourse how the next generation front hall network will be. And there we can see that uh, the new uh, radio technology will be uh, necessary to, to enable this uh, uh, stringent uh, 5G uh, requirements and uh, various application which uh, we expect uh, to come uh, in the soon future, in three to five years. Yeah, and uh, this is the proof of, proof of concept uh, demo uh, to see that we are able to handle uh, the traffic in, uh, in a high volume and uh, how to uh, incorporate with the current, uh, uh, and current uh, networks we have. Well, as we can see that uh, the ongoing discussion uh, within different standardization groups uh, show that um, there will be a lot of uh, uh, various uh, applications and there will be different requirements and, and so on. And all, all this is uh, so far um, undefined uh, completely yet, uh, which means that we are facing a big challenge in future. So this technology, we, be, we believe, will um, will be very helpful to uh, integrate different uh, uh, scenarios into a unique network, uh, say Ethernet based, and, and uh, it will also um, relax the, the bandwidth requirement. Yes, this is a demo of our Comcourse uh, Gateway for Next Generation Front Hall Interface. And so we have two development boards here from Silinx, one acting as a BBU and then one acting as the remote radio head. From the BBU, we will transfer frequency domain LTE IQ samples over this front hall Ethernet link to the, our uh, remote radio head where the remaining physical layer processing of LTE will be performed. And then out here comes the LTE generated waveform, which is being analyzed by this spectrum analyzer. And from the spectrum analyzer, we can see that everything is being demodulated correctly. We can see that everything is received and we can measure stable EVMs about 1%, which really confirms that we are able to transfer the, the IQ data over Ethernet using this Comcore's uh, suggested split for the uh, functional partitioning between the BBU and the remote radio head. In a practical application, this BBU would be some kind of virtualized centralized BBU, which will have connection to many different uh, remote radio heads and they will be connected through Ethernet. So the BBU will gen generate Ethernet packets designated to all the different remote radio heads and they, then they will receive all these frequency domain IQ samples and they will be processed out of the remote radio head and they will generate the LTE carrier. So you will be able to see the LTE on the UE. So this is the